Hello everyone, I'm Manny the Movie Guy for Out TV. A horror remake or a science fiction adventure? Let's begin with Poltergeist. <laughs> the filmmakers behind this reboot are up against a major question. Why remake a movie that's beloved by many? First things first. In this day and age of The Conjuring, Insidious, and Paranormal Activity, this reboot feels like a copycat, even though its main theme, that of a normal suburban family haunted by the paranormal, has been borrowed and used to great effects by the new crop of ghost movies. Sam Rockwell and Rosemary Dewitt take over the roles of the parents who must rescue their youngest daughter from evil forces. The sad part is, this movie is ably directed with credible performances, yet it doesn't hold up to the original. If the Toby Hooper and Steven Spielberg classic scared you with minimalism, the remake spoon feeds you with cliched tactics. And for that, Poltergeist gets two out of four not too creepy kisses. From a spooky house to the world of the future, it's time for Tomorrowland. Yet another movie based on a popular Disneyland attraction. Tomorrowland is like a shiny new ride that will leave you hanging. The excitement and wonder are all there, especially in the more effective first half of the movie. And that's a major disappointment coming from writer-director Brad Bird, the great storyteller who gave us the much better The Iron Giant, The Incredibles, Ratatouille, and even Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. Thanks. Don't thank me yet. George Clooney is still likable though as a former boy genius who's trying to get his groove back. The key is Britt Robertson's Casey and her scientific curiosity. It felt like really like a Disney film. Clooney is right. Tomorrowland has great intentions, looking for a purpose, but at least its original and moviegoers will be thrilled with its eye-popping production design. And as heavy-handed as it is, I subscribe to the film's message of hope. And for that, Tomorrowland gets 3 out of 4, it's a small world after all, kisses. So there you have it everyone, Tomorrowland is my pick of the week. I'm Manny the Movie Guy for OUT TV, playing with ghosts.